Welcome to In Your Face. I'm Aiden Erbach along with Hogan Bryant and Stevie Vagan. Um, today, uh, hey guys, what do you think is going to do better, Cleveland Browns or the Dallas Cowboys? The so Cleveland Browns. I, the, the Cowboys don't have a quarterback. Dak Prescott is not that good of a quarterback. He's not elite. And Baker is going to get there. And this year, especially with the assets around him and the like, he has a bunch of options with Odell and Jarvis Landry that Dak just doesn't have with Jason Witten coming back. He's just not going to be as productive. And Amari Cooper just is not as good as Jarvis Landry or or Odell, in my opinion. Okay, well, I got a lot to say about what you said. Dak Prescott has a fourth-year quarterback. He's a veteran. Uh, Baker Mayfield, he's only played for two years in the league. I'm pretty sure Dak Prescott is going to be better than Baker Mayfield next season, whether or not Baker Mayfield will be, have a better career. Amari Cooper is, in my opinion, well, he's better than, okay, he's better than Jarvis Landry. I'm not sure if he's better than Odell. But after they traded for uh, Amari Cooper last season, they were 8-2 and two following the trade. Um, and I, in my opinion, they got way better this offseason. They got Travis Frederick back from an injury, which who they didn't have last season. That'll help their offensive line. Um, they uh, fired their offensive coordinator, and he was one of the worst in the league. Yeah, exactly. So they ha they have a new new whole scheme with the new offensive coordinator. So, like, Dak, like, he's just now getting new to all of this with a uh, – No, but Helen Moore is young. What? Yeah, well, he still – He is it very young to be an offensive coordinator. It doesn't yeah. matter. I just – Well, the, uh, well they, their whole plan, all right. what they've been saying all this offseason, that they're trying to make an offense more – better for Dak Prescott. They've uh, been, like – Trying to get Dak Prescott as the center of everything. Well, the schedule right, the I'll Cleveland plays is way easier, or way easier. All right. Um, our next question is, uh, what do you think about the NFL draft? Uh, I think the Giants did not have a great pick. Neither did Oakland. Daniel Jones is not a good pick at number four. Neither is like, Klein Farrell at number three for Oakland. Just they could they both had more first round picks later on, and they could have picked them then. So I just don't think it was that good of a pick for them, either one of them. What about you, Stevie? I thought it was interesting how there was three uh, defensive linemen that went back-to-back, -back, second, third, and fourth. Um, and I also agree that the, that the Giants made a huge mistake taking Daniel Jones at number six. Um, um, I think Daniel Jones, I don't think Daniel Jones is the Eli Manning, the next Eli Manning that the Giants organization wants. Um, I just don't think he's the guy. Um, our net, our last. Well, final even if he is like an Eli Manning, he's Eli Manning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not much of a. Uh. Um, our last fine uh, question is, who do you uh, think the Lakers are going to get in the fourth pick? I think if they're smart, the, they will trade it away, and that because I just don't see anyone at number four that valuable for a fourth pick that will fit in with it, their uh, their scheme. Do you think Carson Edwards could get picked at fourth? No, I don't think he can get picked at number four. I also think that he's they're going to get trade, but I have, actually have a specific trade that I think that would work. They're, uh, they're talking about how they wanted to train, change, trade Lonzo Ball, and at the same time, CP3 has been in trade talks with the Houston Rockets. I feel like if you uh, package Lonzo and the fourth overall pick to Houston to go to Houston and the Lakers get back CP3, that would be a good trade for both teams because the Rockets – they could re restart with Lonzo, and they could get an y another young guy with a fourth overall pick. And for the Lakers, CP3 and Le uh, LeBron have been notoriously be uh, friends. They're on the banana boat together. I feel like that could help la the Lakers compete uh, for a champion championship, and uh, it just works for both teams. Um, these are all great uh, answers. Um, that's it for In Your Face. I'm Aiden Erbach, along with... Hogan Bryan. Stevie Fagan.